Hey guys, welcome back to Top 10 Nerd. I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergie. Baby Groot has been busy capturing the hearts of fans everywhere, and he has everyone talking about his adorable antics. And you guys wanted more Baby Groot, and I aim to please, so let's do it. Here are the Top 10 Surprising Facts About Baby Groot, Part 2. Number 10. Baby Groot wasn't a huge deal in the comics. While in the new film he obviously had a lot of screen time, Baby Groot wasn't historically much of a thing in the comics. When Groot does die and is reborn, he was for the most part in the sapling form we saw dancing around at the end of Volume 1. And luckily for all the Baby Groot lovers out there, the upcoming Baby Groot comics will give us all the comic cuteness we could possibly need. And I can't wait. Number 9. To go along with that last point, in the comics he didn't have to walk around and wait to grow. In the comics he regenerates a lot faster. Faster. And while he doesn't seem to take any set amount of time, Groot's been shown to be able to go from his sprig size to full grown more or less instantly. One particularly fast regeneration was when Peter Quill took the Groot toothpick out of his mouth and inserted it into Doom's throne, which was made from Yggdrasil, the world tree of Asgard. Groot immediately sprang to life, becoming an enormous behemoth who destroyed an entire castle in a moment. And while the whole baby Groot thing was something of a creative liberty on the part of the cinematic universe, it's definitely one I can get behind. Because baby Groot Groot is pretty cute. <laughs> Number 8. Baby Groot wasn't seen in the comics in the form we know until 2015, after the release of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 1. In Groot Number 4, he had a pretty epic revival, pulling himself out of a sewer before confronting his alien pursuers. While the earlier versions of a young Groot were spindly and not particularly cute, in this issue we finally got to see the familiar and adorable Baby Groot, with the big head and eyes. Unlike the Hulk, you do want to make Baby Groot angry, because he looks so cute when he's angry. Number 7. Chris Pratt knew Baby Groot would steal the show before the film was even released. While filming the opening scene with a giant battle where the cameras focused on Baby Groot the whole time, Pratt apparently looked over at the little guy and said, Damn, he's going to steal the whole movie! And you know what? He kinda did, at least for some people. But don't worry Chris, you have one thing Baby Groot doesn't. Pecs. Crap, that's two things. Number 6. A lot of thought was put into Baby Groot's antics. Now, those of you who've seen the movie will likely know that Baby Groot isn't always particularly interested in what's actually going on in the scene. When setting up various scenes, James Gunn was constantly having to step back and get extra shots based on what Baby Groot might be up to at the time. In one particularly emotional scene, James Gunn had to take the time to film the ground because he figured Baby Groot would be trying to get a bug while the scene was going on. Much to the chagrin of the actor in the scene. I'm carefully avoiding spoilers, you're welcome. Number 5. Baby Groot's cuteness causes problems for some actors. Karen Gillan, the Doctor Who companion turned sick villain, has said that she had trouble in scenes with Baby Groot. This is because while she finds him to be super cute, her character Nebula does not. So she has to somehow cover up the fact that her ovaries are ready to burst every time she looks at the little guy. Just imagine looking into those adorable little eyes and trying to look angry. I just couldn't do it, he's too cute. Number 4. Baby Groot's dance at the end of Volume 1 is actually based on the sick moves of the director James Gunn. This scene, as short and late in the movie as it was, became one of the most iconic moments in all of Guardians of the Galaxy. And we have Gunny Boy to thank for that. According to him, he was too embarrassed to be seen doing it, so he made everyone leave the room and he videotaped himself dancing. Then they animated his moves into Groot. He even did the moves for Volume 2 as well. Hey Marvel, if you're looking for more inspiration for terrible dance moves, I'm your man. <laughs> Number 3. Baby Groot's dance was actually more significant than we thought. And I'm sure we all remember how he froze his adorable dance when Drax looked at him. It seemed like a funny joke that was just him being embarrassed to be seen dancing. But it is much more significant when you learn about an earlier deleted scene. In one scene from Volume 1 that ended up being cut from the movie, Big Groot was doing his own dance and was ridiculed by Drax. So when Baby Groot decided he had to dance, he wanted to hide it from Drax to avoid being looked at funny. And why is this significant? Well, leading up to Guardians 2, fans weren't sure if Groot would keep all his memories like in the comics, or if he'd lose them. The fact that he seemingly remembered the previous dancing was arguably our first sign that Baby Groot would at least have some of Groot's memories. It's pretty neat. Number 2. It seems that Groot was pretty busy in the film outside of being the adorable mascot of the team. If you watch the closing credits of the movie, you'll see that Groot had a hand in quite a few areas of the filmmaking. I am Groot, being found in the graphics and special effects department as well as several others. Talented treat. 
or rather talented floral colossus. Number one, you can have your own dancing baby Groot. With such a huge amount of merchandise for baby Groot and the popularity of his dancing videos, it's no surprise that people were clamoring to get their hands on a dancing Groot toy. Uh, there are a few on the market. There's one you can straight up buy from Funko Pop, but a man named Patrick Delahanty created his own version by altering the appearance of a moving and grooving flower toy. It's freaking amazing, and he actually posted instructions on how to do this. I'll link them below. If any of you actually does this let me know it looks amazing sounds like a really great craft to do with the kids or with your geeky significant other or if you're single make it yourself and use it to attract all the cute nerds you want that's it for today hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please smack that thumbs up button and subscribe to top 10 nerd for more nerdy videos let me know what you think about baby Groot in the comment section down below and if you want to say hi feel free to check out my personal YouTube channel linked in the description until next time I'm Ron McKenzie Lafergie with top 10 nerd I am Groot